so today we are going to read about determiners determiners are used with countable and uncountable nouns to limit their meaning they are special kinds of adjectives so students what are determiners determiners are special kinds of adjectives what are these those words which add to the meaning of noun so these are used with countable and uncountable nouns the and they are called determiners so kinds of determiners are demonstrative ad adjectives this that these those you all have come across these words possessive adjectives my our your his hers its theirs adjectives of quantity and number some any all much many both few each every either neither that is a little few a few one two four second etc and some of the articles also that are a a an and the so we will see that these how to use these adjectives okay we'll see that how are these four types of adjectives used in a sentence the so correct usage of determiners little a little these are adjectives of quantity little is a negative adjective and means not much hardly any okay so the biggest difference between little and a little is a little is an affirmative adjective and means some at least if see if your friend says i have little food left with me that means there is hardly any food left with your friend if your friend says i have a little amount of food left with me that means he or she has certain quantity which is less but it's there there is a little amount but it is there okay so a little is something more than little which is almost negligible okay so this is negative adjective whereas a little is affirmative adjective okay he has little not much common sense little common sense almost nothing hardly any common sense iski jagah pe hum log a negative adjective when we are saying so we can say that not much common sense so there is little hope almost hardly any there is no hope almost okay now moving forward to uh examples of a little he spent only a little money but he spent some okay it gives you a meaning that some at least okay a little knowledge is danger is a dangerous thing to have some knowledge and not the complete knowledge is a dangerous thing okay moving forward to few a few again few is a negative adjective whereas a few is a affirmative adjective few means not many a few means some at least i have okay some examples in the case of few adjectives it is a negative adjective whereas a few is a affirmative for example few persons get such a chance almost that is not many people few people in india are rich that means not many people a few let's see the examples i have still a few rupees left however few certain number kuch to bacha hai he spoke a few words at least he spoke something not many but some at least okay a few 
Moving forward to the next slide. Now we have each, every, either, neither. Distributive adjectives. These are distributive adjectives. They are. They must be used with nouns, pronouns, and verb in the singular. And these are all singular distributive adjectives. Each means one of two things, or one of any number exceeding two. Each boy of the class, each of the two boys, four girls were seated on each bench. We are distributing. Okay, so. There were four girls who seated on each bench. Every is used in speaking of more than two. Every seat was occupied. We are not talking about two, but we are talking about many. Every one of these answers is wrong. Is. Why is? Because just now I said that distributive adjective each, every, either and neither are singular adjectives determiners now the third one either has two meanings one of the other one or the other and both either pen one pen or the other will do there were trees on either side both the sides so it has two meanings either is used as a determ determiner in two cases as it gives two meanings neither is the negative of either and means neither the one nor the other he took neither neither side neither this side nor that neither of the two statements is true na hi wo sahi hai na hi ye so none of the two neither of the two Moving forward to older, elder, oldest, eldest. Elder and eldest are used for persons only, whereas older and oldest are used for both persons and things. They denote the position. Elder and eldest denote the position of one member of the family with reference to another or others of the same family. Elder is never followed by than. Okay. Eldest means the firstborn. Ashok is my elder brother. John is my eldest son. So we never write Dan after elder. Whereas in the case of older, we must say he is older than his brother. But the sentence which is elder, the sentence in which elder is used, it should not have Dan. Okay, elder ke saath dan nahi jata hai. So he is elder to his brother. Okay, or he is elder brother. We can say like that. Older, oldest denotes the greatest age. Okay, each other or one another. Each other is used when two persons or things are meant as the two boys hit each other. The two brothers never loved each other. Okay, so the things are between two people, two persons. So we use each other. One another is used when more than two persons. Here, things are related to two persons. Here, more than two persons and things are met. Yeah. Little children love one another. The four brothers always quarrel with one another. There are four brothers, so this is these things are not between two persons. This is between, this is among four brothers, four people. So we use one another. Little children, children, they are more than two. That's why we are using one another. We have much many. Okay, not note carefully the use of these two adjectives. Okay, much is an adjective of quantity, whereas many is the adjective of number. Okay, so this shows 
this shows quantity okay this shows quantity and the many adjective shows number okay for example in the examples of much he showed much patience you cannot count one two three patients no it shows much patience you can just say quantity many shows you the number he taught us many new things you can count he taught three new things to me etc etc less fewer less refers to the quantity fewer only to number okay again we have quantity and number as a differentiation between two adjectives we do not sell less than five kilos of sugar no fewer than 40 soldiers it is very, very uh, obvious and clear from the examples some and any in affirmative sentences use the adjective some in negative sentences use the adjective any okay it is important to know that some of the adjectives are used as affirmative adjectives or the sentence if it is affirmative you have to use a particular adjective whereas if the sentence is negative you have to use another kind of adjectives or determiners there is some money in my purse have you any money with you almost you are just uh, saying to the person we are asking the person do you have any money that means you are trying to say do you have money or not i think you don't have money or any money negligible okay now the exercises are done here you may see the exercises from here so this is exercise one of page number 25 then we have exercise number 2 3 and 4 done here for you you may check then we have articles we have already studied about articles a and and the we use a and an in the singular countable nouns we can put adjectives between the articles and the nouns this is a lovely dress plural nouns can be used without an article this is a bee whereas bees are insects we should not write a or an when you are referring to different definite things and people know which thing you mean then you use the it is a definite article the is called the definite article okay moving forward we do not use a or an before an uncountable noun tell me can you count water no water is uncountable sugar is uncountable paper is made from wood wood is uncountable okay so we do not use a or an when we use the words my you his her its are there these and those okay. our school is nearby her bedroom is untidy where are my shoes we don't use the with the names of people or streets or places but we use the before the names of rivers seas oceans mountains ranges and important buildings and monuments the golden gate the river ganga the atlantic ocean the taj mahal now we have exercises regarding related to uh, articles as the determiners is size 5 6 and 7 and 8 on the page 28 of your language book we have completed this chapter and the exercises if you have any doubt or query you may ask on the comment section we will clarify your doubts as soon as possible practice and do the exercises in your books 
and if you have doubts just comment thank you